Story time. What will it be? It's called story time. I made a little beat called story time. Let's watch and hear story time. Did I really just do that? Welcome to story time. A series where I tell you all about my Mexican struggle and about moments in my life in general. It's been a solid three week gap since my last story time episode. And again, I'm showcasing some Titanfall gameplay. So in this episode, we're going to be rewinding the clock back to when I was in eighth grade. What year was that? 2010? 2009? Somewhere around that year? And at the time, I was 13 or 14 years old, somewhere, give or take, in that age area. And I went to a nice, privileged school. Unlike the school I attend now, where it's just a bunch of Mexicans, this middle school was nice. Everyone dressed in uniform, there was a lot of diversity and race, and I liked that. Because if you go to a high school filled with only one race, that's not going to prepare you for the real world. That's actually going to make you scared of the real world. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going off subject. This could probably be many more story time episodes in the future or what I'm going to be talking about. But I wanted to talk about specifically my gym class in my 8th grade year. Now, being middle school, you had to take gym class. I don't believe you had to take it in your 6th grade year, but your 7th and 8th grade, you had to take gym class the whole entire year. My 7th grade year at gym, it was nice. You know, there was like... 40 50 plus students all sitting on a little x and we had to do exercises and activities but my eighth grade year there was only like 15 of us boys because they separated the girls from the boys and there was only 15 of us so we didn't really do anything until like halfway through where they combined both girls and boys so us like 15 something boys were in a gym with like 40 something girls and me being the 8th grade little boy I was, I was afraid of girls. They had cooties, right? Probably, that's probably not what I was thinking. But when they combined the girls and the boys gym class, I just stayed with my Mexican little clique. Because although this school is diverse and has a lot of diversity, for some reason, there was only like 15 of us Mexicans in that gym class. And then maybe one black person. So I, I guess the school was trying to send us a message. Now that I realize it, why would you separate... 15 Mexicans and one black kid and put them in one gym class together. Mm. That sounds pretty racist to me. And when they combined both gym classes, the moment I stepped into the girls gym, I was like, wow, why do they get the privileged stuff? They have bleachers in their gym. They have these nice basketball courts in their gym compared to the boys gym, which has nothing. I was in amazement. Now, of course, the girls had girl coaches and the boys had boy coaches. But since the two boy coaches that were taking care of us, 15 so kids, they left and they decided to do their own thing. And they got us a new coach. And this coach will probably go down in history, in my opinion, as one of the most awkward, weird, and memorable coaches I've ever had in any gym class. A very loud black man. And his name, or what the students called him at least, was Coach Kool-Aid. And although that may seem like the most racist thing ever, this is 100% true. He called them, hey Kool-Aid, what you doing over there? And then they called him, Coach Kool-Aid, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't exactly remember the conversations, but he would call them Kool-Aid, and they would call him Kool-Aid. But they would actually call him Coach Kool-Aid, which was awkward. Now, throughout my whole year in this gym class, I was actually pretty terrified of going to gym every single day because I never wanted to get yelled at. I was one of those kids that, like, if I got yelled at, my feelings would get hurt and I'd probably just sit and pout. And Coach Kool-Aid would yell at everybody. I mean, the girls, the boys, he'd make us run up and down the stairs. I lived in fear of getting yelled at, but luckily, I never got yelled at by him because I never really talk to him because I was afraid of him because he was angry always yelled and he always smelled like weed or tobacco and that's the other thing he smelled like tobacco in, in a middle school environment to this day I don't even know if he still works there I know he had he probably had some cocaine addiction in his past because he was always hyped up one eye was always switching always chewing gum probably because of the addiction of dipping that's probably what he did he probably dipped coach kool-aid was rowdy angry smelled yelled and talked like a typical black man and to this day i've never seen anyone quite like him and that's probably because i go to a school full of mexicans with no black people whatsoever and maybe that's why he's so memorable to me not in a good way because 
I absolutely feared the guy at the time. But he'll go down in history as one of my top five bizarre coaches I've ever been in a gym with. And then I mentioned he also overly touched the girls. He would like grasp them, choke them, headbang them. Like all these moves could have been done in a sexual position. And it, it was awkward. He was just playing around with them, of course, but that man must have had a lot of sexual tension and a lot of uh, withdrawal of tobacco. Who knows? He could possibly be in jail right now because of something he did when I was in high school towards a middle schooler because uh, that that man, hmm, he, yeah, he probably got his wiener sucked. A black man named Coach Kool-Aid. Check. Smelled like weird tobacco. Check. Overly touchy with 8th grade little girls. Check. And that seems to sum up Coach Kool-Aid perfectly. Although I'll probably never know his actual name because I never bothered to ask, nor do I remember. Hopefully he's doing good and not in jail somewhere for being a pedophile. Or selling drugs. One of those two. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did like it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.